हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू विद्या नगरी आई एम बोशाली विद आयुर्वेदा वीडियोस यू विल फाइंड ऑल माय वीडियो इन प्लेलिस्ट आयुर्वेदा द नॉलेज ऑफ लाइफ इफ यू आर वाचिंग आवर वीडियोस ऑन यूट्यूब तो सब्सक्राइब एंड फॉलो अस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड फेसबुक टुडे आई डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ आयुर्वेदा दैट इज ऋतुचार्य सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Ritucharya is the old ayurvedic practice and is consist of two words that is ritu and charya ritu means season and charya means regimen if one follow the regimens prescribed under each and every ritu such person is never inflicted with seasonal disorders and he always remains as a healthy person a yari is divided into two ayon that is uttarayon and dakshinayon and two kalas that is adan kal and visarga kal every kal and ayon consist of three seasons which gives a ultimately of six seasons in a year relation between ritu and bolo the strength of human being is maximum in hemant ritu and shishi ritu moderate in basanta and sharat ritu and it is odds in grishma ritu and varsha ritu now i will broadly discuss of each ritus number 1 is shishi ritu during this season cold is severe and dryness more being the effect of adan kal in this ritu the strength of the person remains less agni becomes more strong The diet in this ritu are shali dhanno, intake of snigdo amlo and lobon rosho, intake of modira, modhu shebon, vileshoy mangsho rosho and ikshu vikar and the regimens are abhongo that is massage with oil, paste and powder, murdha toilo, jantak shweda and vyam. The contra indication of shishi ritu charya are as follow. Kotu tikto and koshoy dominating ahar are avoid. Vatu bordhok ahar viyar should be avoided and loghu and shital ahar. Number 2 is Vasanta Ritu Charya. Kofo which has undergone increase in Shishi Ritu becomes liquefied by the heat of the sun in Vasanta. Diminishes the agni and give rise to many disorders hence kofo should be controlled quickly. The diets of Vasanta Ritu are as follow. Yavo Godhum Bhojan, intake of Shidhu and Madhvik, intake of Modhu, food items, tasting Kotu, Tikto and Kaushaya should be eaten. The regimens are Vyam, Udvartan, Dhumpano and Kabul Graha. Chorok has advised to use lukewarm water for Shocha Karma. The contraindication of Vasanta Ritu are Guru Ahar, excessive intake of Amlo, Shito and Modhu Rasha. Mantha should be avoided. Number three is Grishma Ritu. In Grishma Ritu, the sun rays become powerful and appear to be destructive. Kofu decreases day by day and Batu increases consequently. The diets of Grishma Ritu are as follow. Intake of Modhur, Shital and Drabo Ahar. Intake of Sharkara and Mantha. Intake of Jangal, Poshu Pokshi and Mangsho Rasho. And last one is Ghrito Pan. The regimens of Grishma Ritu are as follow. Diva Shopno, Pravat and Dhara Griho. The contraindication of Grishma Ritu are excessive intake of Lobon, Omlo, Kotu and Ushno Ahar. Excessive intake of Moddo and Vyam. Number four Ritu is Borsha Ritu. In this Ritu, the digestion power diminishes. In this ritu Chorok has advised to follow Sharbo Shadharan Vidhi which diminishes the Vatadi dosha and enhances the Agni Bolo. The diet of Borsha ritu are as follow intake of Jabo Godhum and Shali Dhanno intake of Jangal Mangsho Rasha and Yush intake of Modhu and Mohendra Jolo The regimens are 
local application of chandan kolpur etc on body utpartan and wearing of garlands the contra indication of basanto ritu are utmantha diva sapno nodi jalo avashyai and atop shevan number 5 is sharot ritu in this ritu pitta gets aggravated hence pitta samok chikitsa such as virechan rakta mokshan and tikta sharpi pana is advised in this ritu the diets of sharot ritu charya are intake of modhur loghu shito and tikta ahar intake of shali dhanno jobo and godhu intake of lavak kapinjal mangsho rosho The regimens of Sharot Ritu Charya are Rakta Mokshan and Hong Shodok. The contraindications are Toilo Avashai, Khar, Dodhi and Diva Shopno should be avoided. The last Ritu is Hemanto Ritu. The Hemanto and Shishi Ritu are almost similar in nature, with the only difference that in the latter, dryness caused by Adan Kal and cold caused by the cloud wind. and rains prevail so the entire prescription for hemanto is to be followed in the shishi as well the contra indication of hemanto ritu are pravat means exposed to air udmanth that is intake of flour with water promito ahar that is scanty diet and vato bardhok and logo ahar should be avoided that's it for today guys if you like my video then do not forget like share comment and also subscribe this channel thank you all